This happens to be the Hyundai Kona Electric. So, hi guys, and welcome to the vlog. Today, I'm going to do with this. This happens to be the Hyundai Kona Electric. But I made an Auto Expo fully detailed video of all the electric vehicles. But I'm going to make a review of the cars. Somebody's opening the bonnet. That is the Eco Technology EV motor. As you can see, the headlights. The headlights are nice. They're given the sleek treatment, LED DRL place right there. The indicator is halogen. Every Hyundai, Hyundai motors do that. Even Hyundai vehicles. And projective setup and the lights are placed below. And this happens to be a curtain fake vent. This car is actually powered by the electric motor of Hyundai. That's why the wheels are fully closed but there partially some holes right there to give some air. This car is the blue drive edition. As you can see, the indicator is placed right there. It gets like this dual print kind of treatment of wipers. There's actually a nice touch. And where's the sprayer? Yeah, they give it. This is supposed to be the futuristic Hyundai car. And this is the one of the best electric car in the segment. Because what? It scores like a lot of features and safety. And at the top, yeah. you get a sunroof. Let's get inside first and then talk about the rear. This cover is actually. It's a little annoying. Starting from here, they're given a USB and an aux port with a wireless charging pad given right there. And inside also, even outside and inside, it looks futuristic. Great. I'm appreciate at Hyundai's electric vehicles. They look. Absolutely brilliant. Love box is decent size. Wow. Airbags given right there. Side airbags are there. Six airbags. Height adjustable seat belt is also given. Oh my god, the sticker is again annoying me. That's the manual one. The manual one. one. Electric adjust. Yeah. That's the one for driver. So the driver seat gets a six-way electric adjust from the driver, but not at the co-passenger, which is a little disappointing. Which the MG Astra gets. This is where the charging port goes, and it's nicely placed with these beautiful trips like that. And it looks like this is the grill, but there's not. This happens to be the charging port. And they logo written right there. This happens to be a fake button. Repress this, nothing happens. Not a friend camera. Again, I'll show you around this vehicle first. So this is how the side of the looks of this car. This treatment black thing is running everywhere. This is like the sonnet, actually. This car is around like the smallest actually. The wheels, the wheel size, where is it, where is it, yeah, got it, it's 215, 55, 17, 17 inch wheels, with close shape because it's an electric car, it has nothing to breathe, that's it. The rear obviously gets disc brakes, which are again first in segment from 2019, electric written right there. Now the tail lamps, again the LED, but here, the indicator and the reverse light are not LEDs, so not complete LEDs, reflective given right there. And this is where the camera goes and this is where the light goes for the number plate light. Now getting to the driver's side, which you have to expect a lot first and almost. This futuristic car is loaded with features such as an electric adjust. Electric adjust for the driver's seat gets height adjust as well. Which are again great. So, this is to move and slide the seat, this is to raise it, lower it, this happens to be to recline the seat. What is this for? Nothing happens for that actually. Oh yeah! This is to be even more comfortable. It just raises the seat base, so you can get even more comfortable, I'll show you that in a bit. Can you see some changes? Inside, there's a lot to talk about, first and foremost I'll show you the door. 
spreadsheet. So the handles are futuristic speaker given right there. These are the controls for the power windows. Lock and unlock button is given right there. This is for the window lock. Mirror adjust is also electric. Left and right auto. There. And the mirror can be also closed as well. Which cannot be done now because the vehicle is off. Show that the door is open. And even on the other side. Which is actually futuristic again. Bottle holder, speaker placement, tweeter right there. Actually, there's a tweeter. Get inside. Close the door. Oh my god. The door opens 90 degrees. Just kidding. It is just 82. <laughs> Something. I don't know. Closed. Now the sunroof is open. Can we close? I don't know. But it gets an auto dimming IRVM. There's a sunglass holder placed right there. And impressive. This happens to be the light, switch on, brightly, and there it goes, and this sticker I'll put it somewhere. This is the interior of the vehicle, engine start stop is standard, it gets, it gets to work actually. I, I can't show you about the steering wheel adjust. As you can see the steering wheel looks very small but again futuristic, this is for the audio control, this is for the cruise control. They give me the soft touch material everywhere, but you still believe hard plastics are there. Even on the dash, they give me this knurled kind of like stitch treatment texture. They give me height adjustable drive, height adjustable seat belt in the front seats. So armrest, it has a decent space, which I expect of Hyundai vehicles. So I appreciate that as well. Ventilated as well as heated seats are also available. This is great. Auto hold and drive modes are also available. This is for the parking brake. This is for the gear lever. Again, very futuristic. This is a feature loaded vehicle again. As I told you, space. They given this nice kind of design for the pedals. They given a dead pedal as well. Again, nice design right there. This is a small instruction uh, touch screen. It happens to be very small actually. And as you can see the instrument cluster. It shows that the driver door is open which we close it and show how the door closes. Oh my god. That's also pretty now. Cool. You can see everything around the sunroof. But first and foremost, this is a car that reduced pollution but this happens to be a futuristic car back in those days. From the 2019 starter, the Hyundai Kona, you can see all around the roads and you can see it here as well. And they're the first car to review the Hyundai Kona from my channel. And I'm supremely impressed. Get into the rear. I also appreciate that the request sensor is there. At both the sides, which Hyundai cars, like some of the Hyundai cars, do not do that. Now sit in the rear. I'll sit a little bit back actually. Thigh support is nice. Leg room is decent. Knee room is quite nice. Hot plastic there. They given a net magazine holders. Power windows are there. And again, the handles are so futuristic how the lock and unlock works. Shuts with the proper dial, you can hear the sounds of the vocal noise. They give a handle as well as a hook. Not on the other side, it's just kind of like a knee touch. They give a center address, which is again very cool to open. This is kind of a task because it's very heavy. Does it open in this way? No. They give twin cup holders, and here again, you can access the boot from here, which is there at the Skoda Super. But there, this, this is to recline the seat, again pretty nice, pretty cool. The seat is way behind, it is actually adjusted a lot. So that means, I think knee room is not the best, but leg room, I just stretch. I'm like a boss of leg room actually. They're given a light placement over here. Again, pretty cool. They're given isofix child seat mounts, seat belts with these cool treatments. Look at how the vehicle. Look at the dashboard. Super premium. I'm impressed. 
What is this aircraft stealth thing actually going on? If the president neutral starts parking and reverse and drive, all of this is there, but it's kind of like futuristically placed. There's no rear AC when something which is disappointing, but again, futuristic by the way. Again, as you can see, the sunroof, electric sunroof is there, standard from the top models. And this is again a partial window given right there. Parcel tray is good. How is the boot space? We'll check that out. Check that out in a bit. The bottle holder place right there. I'm impressed of this card. Very premium, very nice, very futuristic. But somehow misses on some features at the rear. Open the boot now. Again. This happens to be a massive size boot. But you can't blame me that I don't know how much is the boot space. They given light right there, LED light again nice. They given some space here to keep some storage space. Max load 60 kgs, 130 bs right there. So attention to detail is actually not bad. But the spare wheel also I can't show you. They given a massive box right there, so I can't show you the spare wheel. They given a slight storage space. Where's the jack and all? It happens to be inside. What should be placed right here to make some easier access? I think the wheel will be full size. Much smaller. They give it a defogger right there. Close the boot. Again, third. The corner. The corner number plate even just bashed out. So thank you for watching my channel. And if you want a full detail walk around of this. Of all of these vehicles. Like scooters, rickshaws, commercial vehicles and cars. At this fully electric EV Expo. You can watch another video of my channel. And I'll talk about the price now. After that, we'll end this chat. The price is somewhere around 20 to 25 lakhs on road. And thank you for watching my channel. If you like, please hit the thumbs up button and then subscribe. But before that, I want to uh, show you about the top speed of the vehicle. It goes around the top speed around 170. So, uh, electric vehicles go fast and this is one of it. So bye, bye bye.